Uh, hey everyone, uh, welcome to the uh, Kubernetes uh, SigDocs new contributor meeting we call uh, happening on uh, Tuesday, March the 5th, 2024. So this call, uh, I'd like to remind you that this call is part of the Kubernetes community and we abide by the CNCF code of conduct. So if you have not uh, read the code of conduct, I would uh, encourage you to do that. Uh, Basically, it means that we should be uh, excellent to each other, and uh, yeah, we abide by this uh, code of conduct uh, in the code and in the community in Slack. Yeah, with that out of the way, uh, hey everyone, uh, welcome to this month's uh, contributor meeting we called. So this happens the first Tuesday of every month, and this usually is uh, usually doesn't have many folks. But the aim of this call is to uh, help uh, new contributors make their first contribution to the Kubernetes documentation. And uh, if you have any questions or uh, if you are someone who already tried to contribute and if you want any help with uh, making your contribution, uh, we can uh, do that in this call. Like we can discuss your questions and queries in this call. And uh, even if you're someone who is who has not made any contribution but are interested to uh, if you're someone who are looking into contributing to the organization, this is uh, the place where you can uh, ask your questions and get everything uh, sorted. We are there to help you with making your first contribution to Kubernetes. Yeah, so uh, usually how this call goes is we'll uh, introduce ourselves and then if you have any questions, we can uh, go through them. So I'll, I'll uh, start. My name is Rita Mankitesh. I'm uh, working at a company called Big Bandry. And uh, I've been active in the Kubernetes open source space for some time now. I'm part of the release team as well. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much about me. Uh, I'd like to. Uh, thank you, Shriram. Am I audible? Yeah, I can. I can hear you. Yeah, thanks for confirming. I'm Rudraksh Karpe. Um, like, I have been active in the CNCF community like since past one to two or two to three months from this during December, and trying to delve into it. Like, apart from my internships and academics, I sometimes try to join uh, mostly secret lead meetings and uh, try to learn more about the project. So I, I, I made like one or two PRs, but I, I would like to get. Uh, more delve into the more more into the community and understand more aspects, as well as contribute to the documentations. And I applied for the security program, so, but uh, possibly due to not much uh, kind of heavy involvement, my application got rejected. But I'm looking forward to the upcoming programs and yeah, contributing to the community. Awesome, thank you. Uh, so Vanilla, I'll uh like. Uh, like repeat uh, again since you dropped off the call uh, so basically what we do like how we start this call is by uh, like going around introducing ourselves and then if we have any questions we can uh, discuss those so I had introduced myself uh, while you were uh, disconnected so I'm uh, Sridham I am active in the Kubernetes uh, open source space for some time now and uh, I'm mostly active in SIG release but I also help around with uh, sick dogs uh, running this meeting. Yeah, you can introduce us. That's good to know, Sri Ram. So myself, Vanila. So I have been working with Kubernetes for past couple of years. And uh, so I thought it's time to contribute to open source now. So yeah, that's how uh, where I am now. So I don't know about this, all this meeting so i got to know arsh and you so uh, it's really nice to connect with both and uh, yes uh, regarding the contributions to kubernetes or uh, sig dogs i raised a couple of issues but yeah um, uh, i mean there are some other contributors contributors who made some comments so i thought you know i thought to figure it out how it works and all so uh, maybe I can monitor someone who is actively contributing. So if you could help me with that, uh, it would be really good. So, yeah. 
uh, so it, what i understand is that you want to you know folks who are actively contributing so that you can uh, keep yeah, an eye out for them and see what they're doing right exactly awesome uh, so i'm assuming that you're talking about the documentation uh, yes i initially wanted to start myself trying to contribute for the docs initially and then i can switch to any other area which i which uh, which interests all right wait uh, yeah, that, that makes sense. And uh, this call is also part of the Sikh Dogs community. Uh, so one of the questions that we get uh, usually here is how can uh, folks get started in other areas of uh, Kubernetes, like the other maybe Sikh release or something. And uh, although we do help people out with that, uh, we generally would like to keep the discussion specific to Sikh Dogs. And uh, like Dogs is the best place to get started. I, I also made my first contribution to Sikh Dogs. So yeah, so a couple of uh, like to answer your question, a uh, couple of folks I know who are active are uh, like I know uh, Tim Bannister. His username is SF Tim. Uh, he's one of the uh, chairs of SigDocs and uh, he's one of the senior members uh, who usually goes through. Like you can see uh, him in most of the issues and pull requests. And I also know another person called Deepesh. He is also an active member in the uh, talks community and he is a reviewer there. So you can see him triaging issues and so forth. And uh, another uh, hint I can give you is that we have a PR Wrangler. Uh, I'll share my screen. We have a PR Wrangler schedule. Uh, so if you go to the Kubernetes website, uh, I hope you can uh, see my screen. Yes. Yeah, so if you go to the Kubernetes website and if you go to the wiki page, you can uh, find uh, two pages here called PR Wranglers and Issue Wranglers. So PR Wranglers are uh, sick dogs uh, approvers who basically go through all the open pull requests uh, every single week and sort of uh, like give reviews and uh, get the work uh, moving. So you can actually... Uh, talk to this week's uh, PR angler. So this is the week of March 5th. So it will be Deepesh and Deepesh is having a shadow uh, who will be working under them. So you can talk to Deepesh and uh, like if you have any pull requests open that you want uh, to get reviewed, the PR angler would be the person to talk to. And uh, there is also a post called the issue angler. So issue anglers, what they do is they uh, you go through issues and uh, it tries them basically. So if you look at the issues here, we can see that uh, many of the issues, like the newer, newly created issues have the uh, needs triage label. So that means somebody has created the issue, but uh, the sync has not approved that this uh, change is required. So it needs to get approved and it needs to get uh, this triage accepted label before uh, somebody can start working on it. So like, you can still work on issues without uh, the triage accepted level, but just that uh, if you have this label, it is much more likely to get uh, accepted because that change has been uh, confirmed by someone from SigDocs that that change is needed. So yeah, if you create an issue and if you want to get it triaged, then in that case, the issue wrangler would be the person to talk to. And uh, this doesn't mean that you cannot reach out to anybody else. Uh, like. Most of the folks mentioned here in this list and all of the PR anglers, they are all people who can help you with your PRs and issues, but uh, it is just that uh, there is like a weekly roster of uh, like task, uh, like who, who will be doing this task every week. So we can uh, contact you if you have any questions regarding your pull requests or uh, issues. You, you can also all, always reach out in the SigDocs channel in Slack which is also a good place uh, instead of uh, DMing someone or like uh, if you have uh, messaged somebody in the in a GitHub thread or something and if you haven't uh, received a reply, you can post that link to the SigDocs channel so somebody else might be able to help you with that. All right. Yeah, that definitely makes sense. I will definitely reach out to respective people. Thanks for this.
Yeah, uh, I would like to go next. Uh, so I have a doubt regarding uh, the PR angle only. Like uh, mm -hmm. for the upcoming uh, PR anglers, I got uh, I approached uh, Tim Bannister and I got assigned under him. So could you please uh, give me a sh short briefing about what exactly is the role of PR angler and what I would be doing in that period? My my period is starting from the like uh, March 10, I guess, under Yes, uh, as a team. Right. So uh, I have done this once uh, before last year. And mm -hmm. I had uh, done this under uh, uh, Nate. So okay, Nate. Nate. I see. Uh, so it depends on uh, each different person might be doing it in a different way. But mm -hmm. uh, what I had done with Nate was uh, we... Like he, we, we had a call uh, where he went through the uh, and went like went through the pull request and he gave me a basic idea of what it is that we do during this uh, okay. PR Nangler week and uh, what we decided was I'll go through the PRs uh, by myself and then I'll send them to Nate via Slack and if we have uh -huh. anything to discuss then we would get on a call. So some of the tips that he had mentioned back then were mm -hmm. to uh, look at uh, like recent PRs and uh, if it already has an LGTM label, you can uh, yeah, so I'm assuming that you're only going to do this for the English uh, version of the website because there are uh, okay. PRs to the localized version of websites as well. Uh, so if you just filter it based on uh, the changes to the English website. Uh, if a PR doesn't have an LGTM label, like you can go through the PR and uh, you can give an LGTM label if you think that the changes make sense and uh, uh, like if they have LinkedIn issue or something, uh, if the yep. uh, PR solves the problem with the issue, then you can add an LGTM label. But uh, LGTM doesn't mean that the PR is approved that still needs to be mm -hmm. done by an approver so which in this case would be uh let me take the uh, the net right uh, or yeah. someone for yeah. Some... yes yeah. yeah so uh in order for a pr to get merged uh it needs to get the approval label uh, and uh, before it gets the approval level it can get the uh lg team label so lg team label can be added by reviewers or uh the shadows or anyone who might be interested in reviewing the PR, but then uh, okay. in the end, the uh, approver needs to add the uh, approved uh, like label so that the PR is merged. So what you will be doing is, I, I believe you can go through the PRs, you can add LGTM labels, and mm -hmm. uh, you can send them to uh, Tim so that uh, he can go through the PR and uh, like add the approved label. So basically you'll be making the work easier for him by going through an initial round of review uh, so that he has an yeah. idea of what all PRs are, uh, what all PRs are like legitimate and can be merged. And uh, I also okay. uh, would recommend that you go through the uh, PR Angular uh, docs. So I sure. believe, uh, yeah, this linked here in the uh, website, there is a PR Angular. Uh, yeah, you can go through this page uh, yeah. where you can, uh, I basically read about what all are the things that you'll be doing and uh, yeah what what are the things that the PR wrangler should do so that you'll you'll also get an idea of uh, what you can do as a shadow you can see here you can uh, say it's about the approved uh, label and the uh, LGTM label and so on not right and uh, yeah one one more thing that you can do is if any particular PR doesn't have any uh, like label. So in some cases, uh, so if you take, uh, let's say this PR, uh, this could be related to a different sync. So you can mm -hmm. add those labels. So let's say that this is related to SIG apps. I, I'm, I'm not sure. sure if this is related to SIG apps, but I'm, I'm just uh, saying it as an example. But uh, if any particular PR is uh, related to a different SIG, you can add that label and uh, yeah, those are the things that you can do in order to make the work easier. So if 
a PR needs to be reviewed from someone from that particular SIG, then uh, you can reach out to them in Slack. And so. Got it. Um, yeah, yeah, and yeah. I also recommend that you talk with Tim because each person might be uh like would be doing it differently, and they would have their own style of how they work with the shadows. So I recommend that you talk sure. to Tim and uh, like get to know how he like what he wants from you and how you can go over it. Sure. Yeah, as it's uh, almost a week away, so I I should better reach out to him now and just get my IC family with their flow. So yeah. that would be easy for me. Also, I wanted to know that uh, I could see there are many uh, labels assigned to PRs already. So are mm -hmm. these lab labels get assigned automatically or uh, by some bot, depend about or something like that, or uh, we need to manually assign them? You know, most of these labels, I believe, are added by the... Uh... The KHSCI bot here, as you can see. So based on the files, it will add. Uh, so if the uh, contributor has uh, like signed the CLA, like the contributor's license, then it will automatically add uh, the CLA as yes, label. The Based on the number of files, it will add the size. And so. So most of the labels that we see here are added by the uh, bot itself. You don't need to add labels in most of the cases. Uh, Yep, got it. In this particular PR, you can see that this is uh, related to an enhancement. The KEP stands for Kubernetes Enhancements Proposal. And you can see that uh, Tim has added that added the label of node and storage, six node and six storage uh, to this mm -hmm. PR so that it is easier to track. Okay. Yeah. So in this particular case, uh, these two are added uh, manually by Tim, by uh, using this like, slash sig command. But other than that, everything else has been added automatically. Got it. So also like, um, let's say there is a certain scenario where uh, someone is not working on the issue. Uh, it's just pending for a certain amount of time. So so can I uh, ask them uh, if the changes are getting re resolved or not? Would this be feasible for me if I, if yeah. I or? Yes, uh, you can you can definitely do that. But uh, one thing to uh, keep in mind is that in the mm -hmm. one week that a person is doing a PR, uh, one, in the one week time that a PR wrangler goes through the pull requests and uh, in the one week time that you as a shadow are going through pull requests, it is not possible to go through all the open PRs. So True. you can definitely reach out to them. Uh, but I'm not sure how... Uh, Productive that would be if we are going like very long back. Yeah, true. So true. if you so, see that if you see that the PR has been open for a long time but has recent activity, uh, then you can definitely reach out to them. Got it. It really helps. Just give me a second. Thank you so much, Sri Ram. Yep. Yep. Thank you. So just to uh, add on, uh, do we have any prerequisites uh, to become a shadower under PR Wrangler or Issue Wrangler? So uh, right now, the PR Wrangler, on, only the PR Wrangler program has the shadow role. Uh, there is no uh, like prerequisite as such. You can uh, like reach out to the uh, PR Wrangler for the week and uh, they'll be happy to have you under them. And uh, yeah, there is no prerequisite, but it helps if you are already uh, sort of familiar with how SIGDOC works, which I believe most of you are, all of you are. So since you have already made issues and pull requests and all, and you're part of Slack, so you can, you can reach out to them. I think the next uh, free slot is the week of April 7th until May 8th. So mm -hmm. that would be a good uh, time for you to, so yeah. You can, you can talk to Nate. Uh, like right now itself uh, and reserve that spot if you are interested. And the issue wrangler uh, role was started recently and it uh, doesn't have a shadow uh, program as of. I can see that we have one more uh, attendee to share. Uh, okay, to share. Can you hear me?
If you're speaking, your mic is on mute. We are not able to hear you. So, uh, yeah. So, Tushar, if you are able to hear me, then uh, welcome to the call. Uh, this is the uh, new contributor meeting we call that happens the first uh, happens on the first Tuesday of every month. Uh, here we help folks uh, make their first contribution to SigDocs and the Kubernetes Cloud Migration. If you have any questions, we can uh, go through them and discuss them. Or else, if you uh, like want to reach out to me on Slack, uh, I'd be happy to help you uh, there as well. Yeah, I, I can see your uh, message in the chat to show. Uh, let us know if you have any questions. Uh, even if you are not able to like, ask them in the call, uh, you can reach out to me, either me on Slack, or you can reach out to the SigDogs channel. Uh, people will be able to help you out. If we don't have anything else, I believe uh, we can wind up the call. Uh, it's 4 27. We have three more minutes. Yeah. And if we have anything else, we can take that up. Nothing from my end, Shiram. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Uh, sir, we are not able to hear you in case you were speaking. Uh, your mic is on mute. Uh, but to uh, feel free to reach out to us uh, on Slack if you have any questions. I will stop the recording now. Okay. Yeah, sure. Uh, yeah, it seems like you can hear us, but uh, if we are not able to hear you, you can reach out to us on Slack. All right, I'll stop the recording now. Uh, thanks, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.